Let's look at another tricky question uh, involving uh, spatial vi visualization. In the figure, ABC and ADE are right angle isosceles triangle. Right, so we have ABC over here as well as the ADE. So you can see that ADE is a bigger than ABC, right? And both the triangles are actually right angle isosceles. Isosceles means the two of the lengths are the same. Right, the question also says that the BD equals to the length of CE, which is equal to 2CM. And the question also says that the area of the shaded part, which is this part here, is 18CM square. And we need to find the length of AB. Alright, so before I show the solutions, I would like you to pause the video now, take two minutes, and think over this question. Welcome back. Do you have any idea how to solve this question? Alright, I certainly hope you do, right, because this question is actually quite tricky. Uh, to, in order to visualize this question, right, the tree is actually to move this whole triangle 2cm to the left. Alright, so let me repeat again. Alright, when you move this entire triangle 2cm to the left, you will get a shape like this. Alright, let me just highlight the border to you so that you can see what, what am I talking about. So after you move 2cm to the left, you basically get this yellow triangle over here. Can you visualize? Okay, so this is after you move the triangle 2cm to the left. Right, you get this yellow triangle over here. And obviously if you move 2cm to the left, this length will also be 2cm. Understand? Alright, so now the next question is, can you tell me what is the area of this red color portion over here? Right, the answer is, it's basically the same as 18cm squared. And do you know what's the reason? Right, that's because the yellow triangle is basically the same as the area of ADE. I'm basically just moving 2cm to the left, right? When I move the triangle to the left, the area doesn't change. Right, since we know that this triangle area is equal to the area of the original triangle so therefore the area for the red color parts will be exactly the same as the shaded part right which is equal to 18 cm squared do you understand and the reason is once again that's because they overlap in this triangle here right so when they overlap over here right this area over here will be equal to this area over here understand Right, and that's because once again the two triangles are actually identical and they have the same area. Alright, so now we know that this area of this red color part is 18 cm square. In order to find the length of AB, we will need to take 18 cm square minus the area of the top triangle. Understand? Alright, so the area of the top triangle is basically just half time base time height. We know the base is 2 and the height is also 2. So half times 2 times 2, you get 2cm square. So therefore, to find the area of the rectangle, you simply take 18 minus 2, you get 16cm square. Alright, and we also know that the area of the rectangle is basically just 2 times h, where h is the length of AB. Alright, so therefore, to find the length of h, you simply take 16 divided by 2, and the answer is 8cm. Okay, so this will be the length of AB. Do you manage to get this one correct? If you didn't get correct, don't get demoralized because this question is actually very tricky. It also took me some time to get over to actually think about this. Alright. So if you are stuck in this sort of question, right, you've got to train yourself more in these sort of questions which involve a spatial visualization skills.